Hey guys, Caleb with Black Pearl Media here, and I'm here with Nick <laughs> from Tool Time Tuesday, and we're uh, we're pulling some engines. We're going to a junkyard for the first time ever. Never been here before. We just kind of took our first little peek, and we're uh, we're going for an engine, right, Nick? Yes, we are. We won't tell you for what, but you'll find out pretty soon. So I got all my camera gear, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. It's about it's gonna be about 95 degrees today. So we're just gonna take all the tools, which are all loaded up in this roller cart, and also a roller cooler. <laughs> Cause we got those big brain moves. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna try and pull an engine today. There are a couple options here, and uh, one of them's really low miles, but was in a front end, front end collision. We're gonna check to see if there's anything wrong with that. We saw that the transmission was definitely cracked, so uh, that's not really a big deal for us because we don't need the transmission. We're just looking for the engine. So we're gonna see if it turns over. If it does, then you know we might spend our time and do that one. Uh, but there's also another one with 120,000 miles that is also an option. Doesn't look like there's any physical damage to it. But we don't know what that means. You know, is the engine bad? Did they run out of oil? Who knows? So we're we're gonna have an adventure. You look beautiful. Go ahead. All right, so we snuck in a, uh, a jumper pack, and I'm gonna try and jump this um, gauge cluster in this Corolla to see how many miles this engine has. And I'm pretty sure it has 20,000 miles on it, which at a junkyard, 20,000 mile engine probably goes for like two grand. But we're gonna pull it 250 bucks. <laughs> Should we show them what it looks like? <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to know that. Mint. Mint. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's no front end left, Nicholas. They cut it off. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need they to cut, cut it out. Life. You need to cut it out. <laughs> this is, I don't know. What's the chances? What are the chances that this thing turns? I'm saying maybe 15%. <laughs> Nick's closer to like 35, and that's enough for him. All right, let's see if it turns over. Minty fresh. No way. No I think, trouble. I think it turns over a little too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it go. Maybe it's good for now. I don't know how long it's going to work on this one, so. Well, it looks good. <laughs> There's no spark plugs in here, though. Really? And it feels wet. Well, which it's filled with water. True. Is that bad? I don't think you want water in your spark plug. Too. Okay, so the silver one was a bust. The uh, spark plugs were completely exposed and not there, and they were full of water. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it wasn't a good look on that one. So found this red one. This one has how many miles? Like 100 ish? 60. Uh, supposed to be 60 to the last reading on Carfax, but but that was in that was, 2016 was, I think so yeah, so yeah, we we don't know much about this car past 2016 and that it's uh, completely wrecked there is a sticker on it that says high school 2020 Yeah, so there's a there's that I guess but uh, We're gonna dig into this see if uh, see if this is a contender. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's okay We found one the 150,000 miles not great, but not terrible either. We thought this was 220,000 miles, right? Uh, we weren't sure. We, this one was the 60,000 mile 2014 one. Right, and then we looked up the history. I think I yeah. have a clip of it, but um, we thought it was 220. So we actually walked all the way the other direction to look at another one, which had 190? I think it was supposed to have like 160. Uh, 150, but the engine was already gone. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the engine was missing. So we came back to this beautiful lady and we're going to go ahead and take that engine out, hopefully. All right, update. It's been 11 minutes and we cleared out the whole front bit. 
uh, disconnected the throttle body to the airbox, uh, disconnected the AC, whole bunch of lines and stuff, and now we're just kind of taking a general look at this bad boy. First impressions. Well, that's pretty good. I know you're not supposed to use a uh, Sawzall, but uh, you know, I felt like we were only cutting things that nobody else could ever use because they were already destroyed. Yep. And uh, you know, it gave us a lot more access. Everything still looks good. So let's keep going. All right, let's do it. All right, let's see how she turns over. Hey, not bad. A little bit of tension on there, too. So it's not like super loose like that. Though. Yeah, I think I can just get it better there. Oh yeah, that's way better. Way better. Yeah, not bad. We got all the coil packs here, all the spark plugs. We got all the uh, the fuel rails intact here. Yep. Everything seems good. This is probably we our could best technically bet. check compression. Really? Yeah. Do you have a compression checker? I do. All right, our coils. Up Why don't we just put them? Let's pop all our coils off. Actually, we have the um, the magnetic. We still have the magnetic thing. The tray. Uh, yeah. And I put on something flat. Do that. I think so. You got, you got it. it? Yeah. Yank them out. Might as well have some spare coils. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, a little bit of oil there. Oil in that one. Nothing. This one's dry. That's why it's hard to reach a boots and right. Boom. Short. Shirts. Shorts. Shorts. Shouldn't be. Oh. Got, got a reading, 35, yeah. or 25, uh, 25. It's not going up. Oh, that's compression right there. All right, it's been uh 40 minutes 40 minutes 40 minutes not bad and uh we're ready to go get the hoist we're going to disconnect the trans if we can but we got to get the hoist first so we're just doing a little cleanup i had the tools for a second we'll go get the hoist dude look at this it took us uh it is 232 and we started at 1202 and we did have a break where we went to go get the lift and that probably took about 20 30 20, minutes. 20 30 minutes so i want to say a two hour job something around two that hours, that's not, not bad. bad for a novice i've never done anything like this not novices. oh right yeah we're professionals yes not mechanics but we're professionals but no this look uh this looks really good um all freed up we did minimal cutting, which is good. Uh, some lines and, and such, but we uh, kept most of the sensors intact. I think we only had one fatality when it came to uh, sensors, but we did compression test this and uh, we think it's gonna be a good one. So not bad. So time to just clean up and get this thing out of here. Just focus on getting it like in and then I can kind of get in there and manhandle oh, it. Oh, actually, you know what? What if you want this all protected? Yeah. What if we slide this two pieces like that. Yeah, get it yep. here. Yep. 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 And then we can. Well, well, we just can't put it right here because yeah, it's sure. But as long as you put it here, yep. we should be able to slide it in. So yep. I think we'll be able to do it if we just give it a. All right, get down with your legs. We're lifting yep. with our legs. One, two. No. No. Okay. Just lift with your legs. Two. There we go. There we go. Stay strong. Stay strong. You got it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, let it go. So I can walk it. Yep. 
there any damage if we do that? Yeah. Yep, yep. Alright, now I'm gonna pull it this way so you yep. just lift. There you go. Mark it. Yep, yep, good, good. I think that's good. Good. And then I can push this. Yep. Yep, good, good. How the heck do you like that, huh? That's pretty good. That's not bad. Yeah, the wood can't really go much further. Alright, well. Yeah, no, the wood needs to stay where it is. Here I go. I think it would it'll just slide. Yeah, that works. Well done. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs>